Hi guys, so today we're going to look at the switch statement in C Sharp. So to look at an example, go to Visual Studio, File, New Project, choose Windows Forms Application and then give it a name of your choice. So, okay. Okay, and then on your form, you're going to add a button and a combo box okay and then click on your combo box make sure it's selected then go to your properties menu go under items collection click on these two dots here on the side and then add these three words enter enter again And then say OK. And then you can just change your button sticks to greeting. OK, and then double click on your button. We'll go to the code behind. And then the switch statement works as follows. You just type in switch. And then the condition to be tested, we're going to use our combo box. combo box text and then start a code block with curly braces and then it's going to switch between different cases basically so um, the first case will be okay put in quotation marks morning and then a col a colon and then for if if the case is that it's that the combo box text is morning you want the following to happen so we're gonna just put a message box not show and then we'll just give it a message. And then you have to write break to break out of the statement and then we can add our next case. Exactly the same as before. Sorry, I made a mistake here. Yeah. Um, I meant to say afternoon, yeah. yeah and then we can just break again. And with a switch statement, like the the if else statement you have a um, the else the else here is like instead of else you have default so if if those two top cases are not true then it will go to the default statement so and you can add as many case statements as you want so default colon So it will show this message if it's evening basically because it's not morning or afternoon. And then on the default you just, instead of break you just type return.
Okay, so that's basically it. You can test the program, so I just start it. And then I choose maybe afternoon first. Click on greeting, it says good afternoon. Choose morning, good morning. And then the default one, evening. Good evening. Cool. So basically, that's your switch statement. You just write switch, put your statement in curly braces, um, all your cases, then um, the condition you want to test. So we're testing the text in combo box one dot text. So if combo box one text is morning, then it will um, show this message, good morning. If combo box one text is equal to afternoon, then it will run this message, good afternoon. And then if neither of those are true, then it will go to a default one, which is good evening. It will show you that message. Cool, and that's basically your switch statement. Hi guys, so uh, just to recap, today we went over the switch statement in C Sharp. Um, I wrote the syntax for you again yeah, in a text in Notepad, just in text so that you can see it. Um, so you basically have your switch, you write switch, the condition you want tested, and in curly braces all the cases that you want different actions for. So the first the first case is if the text is morning in combo box one you want message box to display message box dot show to display good morning in the case that the text is afternoon you want message box to show good afternoon and in if no, none of those two cases are true even if you don't select anything in the combo box then it will go to your default which is it will show you good evening and then remember after every case after you tell it what you want it to do then you have to break out of it and then it will break to the next case and then your default after your default you have to just write the, the word return and then put the semicolon so that's basically your switch statement i hope this helped you and we'll do more videos soon thanks for watching